So we finally have the guest that we've been waiting to get on. We've been trying to work out the scheduling. So we finally got him. Obviously, you always hear us talking about Acorn Hills. And today we have Mr. Acorn Hill. Nate, welcome hey. to the Basic yeah. Bogies Podcast. Well, thanks for having me on, guys. It's been a while. I think, what, uh, six or seven months now. I was in, in college and then, then said, you know, we had, a, we had a date picked out. Then I had a college tournament. and Oh, man. But I was very happy to be on here. Very very happy. I remember specifically when TJ was like, yeah, there's this page that like, keep on your talks, I've been talking to this guy. And I'm like, oh, cool, like, we'll, we'll figure it out. And he goes, oh, by the way, he's 14. I was like, <laughs> what the hell is going on? So, yeah, I mean, let's just start with simplic- simplicity here. Tell us about yourself, tell us how Acorn Hills started, kind of like the whole background of that. Yeah, so since I've met you guys, I've, I've aged a little bit. Um, I'm freshly, tw- <laughs> freshly, freshly 21. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a college, I guess, senior now. Seems kind of crazy to say, but I'm from like a rural town in Pennsylvania called Kerbinsville. No one's ever heard of Kerbinsville, mm-hmm. so I always just tell them State College. Um, State College, Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. so about, about 30 minutes from State College, Pennsylvania. But, you know, if you're familiar with the area at all, it's very country, very rural. So a lot of times growing up, you know, our country clubs were essentially country clubs. You know, no one really flashy or anything you know big branded or just kind of guys that really like to play and just kind of went out there and played and um but on the other flip side of it i've always been kind of an outdoorsman of being in rural mm-hmm. pa so i thought well why why couldn't i always combine my two passions the outdoors and uh golf and clothing and one of my biggest things growing up was when i would go clothing shopping whether it be dicks or um you know like some sort of golf shop or, or a horse or anything was all these uh, all these brands had like a plastic hang tag, um, mm-hmm. and I always yeah. thought, well, this is baffling because you know plastic is such a huge part of the pollution in the environment. And I thought, well, no one's really talking about this, and fashion is just a trillion dollar in- industry, as you guys know. It's, there's so many brands and so many product ranges and types, and I mean, it goes on and on and on forever. I mean, there's millions and millions of brands out there, but they all use that piece of plastic on their clothing that just pollutes pollutes the environment when it goes to the landfill. So I took all that, basically put it in um, a bowl, and I thought, well, I mixed it all up, and out came Acorn Hills where I kind of took this problem during COVID that I kind of thought about. And, uh, you know, seed paper is what we use for our hang, hang tag instead. And what seed paper is is yeah. a biodegradable um, paste, more or less, that when it's dried and uh, it resembles like a texture like cardstock or like a thick paper. Mm-hmm. Um, and instead mm-hmm. of the customer taking that tag and clipping it and throwing it away that ends up in a landfill then ends up could be in the ocean or you know um, out in the environment. Uh, even if that happens, you know that seed paper produces wildflowers. so it's almost just like closed looped uh, eco-friendly way. So that yeah. that's kind of the I mean it, it seems like just going in every different direction starting out which it was like I tr- trust me I've I've uh, my head's popped off a couple of times just everything that <laughs> we do but so take all that fast forward that um, to present day and you know I don't know if you guys were following us when we went on the Weather Channel but we were invited on the Weather Channel uh, in yeah, April of 2023 exactly. yeah so we sent out a couple posts and just kind of friends of friends shared it on Facebook. And then all of a sudden, I get this email from the Weather Channel saying, like, hey, we'd love to fly you out the set and have you on. And it was my, it was my college <laughs> email, because at that time, I really didn't have any, much of an email set out for um, kidding. Acorn Hills. So I thought, man, this is like one of those scam emails that they tell you to, to fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I fished it. I fished it, and it bounced back and said it was, like, real. And, you know, the IT department said, hey, this is a real email. So I emailed back to the guy and said, hey, I would love to come out the set. Um, I think it was in Arkansas or... Um, I forget, I think they're out of Arkansas. And I said, but hey, you know, unfortunately, I have midterms right now. I can't really fly out to, <laughs> to set. So they zoomed me in. I think the date was like April 12th or something like that. Um, we went live with the Weather Channel, and we kind of blew up. And at that point, we only had three products, and the three products you guys are, I think you're wearing all three of them tonight. Those are perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our three, our three flagship products. You know? No, no. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, we started out um, – went on the weather channel and with three products and kind of we blew up on a following engagement wise but on the sales and kind of involvement on the site and everything we really didn't um so i thought well you know where do i go from there and i got a bunch of emails saying 
from like different high school organizations saying they wanted me to be a motivational speaker and things like that. And I mean, just going at every, every different angle. So I thought, well, what do I do as a company owner at this point to really um, drive home the idea of, you know, me giving back, you know, the customer gives back all the time through the order, but what do I do? Mm-hmm. So I actually got in contact with the National Forest Foundation to um, plant a sapling or a small tree for every item that's ordered on our website. So, you know, to date, um, we've done about 500 small saplings and stuff, nice. and that's of a program of about awesome. 5 million in, in total. And that's just mm-hmm. not like saying like, hey, here, you know, go throw it out side of the road and hope plants. They actually go in like the National Forest, um, a dedicated team, and they plant it and say, okay, you know, this, this tree was brought to us by Acorn Hills, um, so to say. So, I mean, it, it, that's a huge mission on the other side, on almost like the back end of what we're doing. But, and then, um, so fast forward to what we are today. Um, and that's really, you know, working with a lot of small retailers and working with a lot of country clubs and pro shops and, um, you know, just different organizations and, you know, we're very fortunate, especially within the golf community on Instagram and um, Facebook, you know, just super fortunate on that side of things to really, really establish a following, establish a brand and establish what we are today that just kind of continue to grow, no pun intended, but. Yeah. <laughs> cool. How'd you kind of come up with the name Acorn Hills then? Is there yes. like a area in there or what? Well, so, yeah, so I found out soon after I made the company stuff, there is a road about 40 miles from me called acorn hills i, I still want to steal the sign <laughs> in the middle of the night but i know i get arrested <laughs> yeah. but um so my the way where i'm from like i said close to state college it's very hilly mm-hmm. if you've ever driven through it uh and it's also covered with a huge amount of oak trees so like in the fall you can never walk outside without touching an acorn with on the bottom of your feet and me being a college mm-hmm. golfer you know fall is definitely <clears> my my prime season so I'm I'm walking, oh man, 54 holes, sometimes a day, you know, you know, playing golf, and so I'm touching a lot of acorns, especially um, when you don't <laughs> hit it in the fairway, uh, which yeah. which, I, which I do from time to time, believe it or not. But so so that, so I, I call that my my nature marketing, but it's also a symbolism too. It's a small sign of growth, because when you see an acorn, that eventually yeah. is a Ooh. seed, right? Um, yeah. And that's kind of what we are as, or as people. You know, we start out kind of we fall down and then just kind of grow up and everything. So everything, there's a lot of symbolism. Um, right there. <laughs> what's yeah. that, Gary? Motivational speaker coming out. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's flag falling down and everything. What a what a speech. <laughs> but. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.